For a scuba diver, observing a coral reef is a thrilling experience. But for the creatures that live there, finding ways to survive is their main priority. One common strategy is to get lost in the crowd. This can be very effective. Another one is to just swim away when things get too uncomfortable, like this pufferfish. When your venom is ten times more potent than a rattlesnake's, like this banded sea snake, you really don't have to worry. Another survival approach is simply to be intimidating, like this white-tipped reef shark on patrol. But if you're a little guy, it's probably better just to try and blend in. Anything here? My dive buddy's shining his light, so let's take a closer look. This is a Spanish dancer, the world's largest nudibranch, but definitely not the world's greatest swimmer. Better to then hide than to try and escape. Can you see him? This scorpion fish is hiding in plain sight with his mouth open. I don't see anything here, but let's go back in time a few seconds. Whoa, look at that! This crab is in a hurry to hide, and he's doing a pretty good job. Now he's just about gone. Can you see him now? This clam is pretty well camouflaged, but he can do even better. My buddy is shining his light again. There must be something to see. Here's a closer look. This squid has done a great job imitating his surroundings. Here are three more squid that have come out to play. Keep your eyes on the one on the left to see the iridescent stripe that appears on his side. Check out the eye makeup. Sometimes the best way to camouflage oneself is just to be incredibly ugly. This dragon sea moth matches his environment perfectly. He's going to creep along the bottom and hope no one notices. And what's this? A nice smooth rock? By now, you know better than that. It's a box crab, and he's just hanging out. Those who live on the coral reef employ one or more of these common survival strategies. I hope they work so I can see these fascinating creatures on my next underwater visit.